Now that we've done all the big renovation to the downstairs toilet, it's time to add all the little details. The main thing I have on my list at the moment is I want to repaint the walls. There's still a whole load of green from when I originally wanted to have green on either sides, but I realized it kind of shortened the room, so I've left it on one side. I've changed the light fixing to one which I painted black. I still want to paint over this wall because it's patchy and you can still see the original yellow color. I want to make a shelf for the sink and then put up a towel rail. Just loads of little details. I was quite keen on was having a herb hook in the bathroom. I'd already put a temporary one on the door since eventually the door is going to get replaced but where it was was no good because it meant that if you were using the loo and you sat up you would just get a face full of foliage because the door is right there so it needed to be moved along. I got a much nicer hook and installed that and then changed it to a fresh bunch of lemon balm. I've got so many different mint plants in my garden like spearmint, peppermint and lemon balm that I have to cut them very regularly and very aggressively. So it's really nice to have a few hooks around the garden, sorry not the garden, the house, which I just regularly tie little bunches of fresh mint and hang them up and the house smells amazing because of it. target was the push button. I'd already been using this black paint all over the house. I've used it to paint the light fixture in my room, the light fixture in this downstairs toilet, and now I wanted to see how well it was going to work with the push button. So first thing I did was taped everything off. In some cases I was able to slide it behind the button. I cleaned everything just to make sure there wasn't any kind of finger marks which would show up later on, and then prayed that I wasn't going to run out of paint because I have used this paint a lot. I wasn't entirely sure how I wanted to do this so for the first coat I just tried to make sure that I had enough of an even coat that the second coat would have something to grip onto. So at first I didn't bother going in the same direction, I just tried to make sure that especially around the buttons themselves no paint was going to clump up and end up looking really nasty and even prevent people from using the buttons properly. So I just wanted to make sure that the paint actually got in between the cracks, didn't leave any bumps or lumps, and that I had a nice even coat for the second one. Within about 40 minutes, that was dry. <laughs> it's one of the things I do love about this paint. It really dries quickly. And then I put a second coat and this one was all in the same direction. Where I could, I used the bigger brush and then eventually I went around with a smaller brush and a needle just in between the push button to make sure that no paint clumped up and it looked nice and neat.
Last year I'd bought a towel rail for the sink and the idea was is that I could slot it over the door but then I found once the sink was installed that it just the door didn't close properly so I needed to try and find a way to still keep reusing this. The idea being that I would cut off the hooks and then attach it to the wall. So the flush button is painted, that's all done. You can still see silver if I move it down a little bit but that's just because of the angle because I can't get right into this but I'm not going to... <laughs> I'm not going to quibble over that, it looks absolutely fine. I'm really impressed actually with how this turned out. I was worried that it was the kind of thing that was going to chip off very easily. I don't know why I thought that. I've used this paint now so many times and it's just incredible. So it's never let me down so far. So that's what it looks like when I'm not catching the angle that catches the internal um, silvery parts. But what I still need to do is I still need to paint this wall, especially up there you can see it's quite patchy. There you can see the green coming through and there you can see the old yellow coming through. So I need to paint over all of that all the way down here underneath the sink as well. And then once that's done, I think tomorrow what I'm going to do is I'll strip off all the paint off the windowsill, um, expose the wood, clean that up, repaint this green, paint that part green as well, give everything a fresh coat, and then the day after that I'll paint the ferns and then I should be done. <sighs> well that took forever to cut. So today was an early start because the little terrorist decided that 5 a.m. is a thing, so that was fun. But on the plus side, I've got more time in the day to film and with the towel rail that I wanted to put up in the downstairs toilet, <laughs> I cut everything down and then I realised I don't have any drill bits that can drill into metal. So I had to wait for some drill bits to arrive. As it is, it's a good thing to have anyway and I've got quite a few projects where I want to drill into metal coming up, um, so I'm very pleased about that. It was going to be the kind of thing that I was going to need anyway, so those have arrived. I can drill in the holes in the rail today, paint it, get the towel rail up. I'm hoping to get the downstairs toilet finished today. Um, the herb, not the herb, the, um, the kind of plant hook is up, so that's done. Um, I still need to paint strip the windowsill and then I'll paint the wall, paint the ferns that I want to paint onto it. I'm not sure about the ferns because I could freehand them, but I also kind of want to make a template so that if someone wants to replicate them, they can paint them, but I don't think I'm going to have time to do that because I've only got two, not even two weeks, it's like a week and five days now before my baby is due. But yes, I'm talking to the camera. That's a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that just because I don't have the time. I have got to try and get as many videos filmed and recorded over the next two weeks as possible if I want to take maternity leave, so yeah. That is what we're going to do, we're going to try and get that done today, maybe get the wardrobe done today, so just the next two weeks are crunch time, so let's see what we can do. Is left but you know what I don't care it's good enough okay come on one of those days now I think I probably need to heat gun the paint off the windowsill which I'm really not looking forward to I've done a lot of projects with a heat gun and that's an amazing tool and it's way better than using a sander gonna be fun but I've got to do it it won't take me long it's not a huge piece so I'm hoping if I just really crack at it it will take me maybe 20 minutes um, and it's got to get done so I'm just gonna push through it make myself a tea and get it done and then maybe if I'm lucky I'll have this downstairs toilet 
done by today and then the only thing that I need to do is just little details like putting in the lampshade <laughs> oh yeah little details like putting in the lampshade um, getting a nail brush a kind of nail cleaning brush for next to the soap um, putting up the handrail that should yeah that's all doable I still need to wait for the order to be confirmed because I ordered the lampshade from Matalan and they still need to send me an email confirming when I can go pick it up so yeah we will get there we will see how much we can get done but hopefully I can get this whole downstairs toilet done by today good as it's going to get and I'm running out of time so I'm just going to focus on the important part which is getting this part as sanded down as possible. The top is still, there's just bits I can't get off but it's not a priority, this is still a lot easier to clean than the chipped enamel that was there before so I'm going to clean this all up, give it a polish. So I might just do that, so I'm going to clean this windowsill then I'm going to repaint all the green, clean everything and then we'll see what we need to do next. To line up with the sink so I was hanging it like this but there's no reason why it has to hang up like that why can't I attach it so that it's attached like that and then this lines up with the sink so that is what I'm going to do that should line it up nicely or maybe just underneath I know it's and it is a door the chaos continues Yo. 
Look, that's all in. See? looks really nice and that's solid. I was worried it was going to wobble around because I was questioning whether I should have screwed two holes on each side but that is solid. It's not going anywhere and barring anyone swinging off it, it should be fine which I wouldn't put past my son but <laughs> quite frankly I'm a lot more worried about him getting into the unit. It's just got things like that annoying little pot you need to take with you every time you go to a maternity appointment so that it's always right there. I've got a cream, um, what's it called, a perineal balm. Um, that's amazing for after birth or if you have any kind of problems or pain or, or just areas that need treatment, shall we say. And then there's the cotton buds and another cream which I'm not going to go into details about. And it's just really practical having it right there in the door. I'm really, really pleased that I finally made this. And I like that the inside of the cabinet is just clean and organised. Good, so it finally arrived. I had to go and pick it up from the local Matalan. But oh, I'm so pleased it finally arrived. So I just need to install that and it should look gorgeous. I am very, very pleased with that. And it came with a silica gel packet, which is always nice. One little last minute change of plan. This is the ring that I need to, um, that's gonna hold up the lampshade, but I'm just gonna quickly paint it. It's just a small detail, but there's already just black fixtures everywhere. There is no chrome. <laughs> and I want to keep that theme going because I love black fixtures. So I'm just gonna quickly paint that, wait for it to dry, and then we can put the lampshade up. the last part of the project. I've obviously still got a few more things that I need to do. I still need to paint the ferns on the wall and eventually I want to replace the door and then strip all the paint off the frame to expose the wood. I am not a fan of enameled paint but that is a project for another day. For today everything looks so much better and I'm loving how it's coming together. <music> content and want to follow me on Patreon, that's where you can find my early content, extra content and see the thought process behind things like my books, cover designs, videos and artwork. You can also find me on Instagram but the best place to follow me and make sure that all my new content is sent directly to you is through my website and the mailing list. On the top right hand corner you put your name, the email you want your new content to be sent to and that's it, you're done.